Okay, so I wanted to, I have an exciting thing that I wanted to share with everybody that um, I've got a whole bunch of, about a thousand slides that my grandfather took and what I was trying to do is find out how uh, I could use my DSLR camera to actually capture those old images in good quality and try to reuse them. So I've got a Nikon D5100, which is actually what um, my son is filming us with right now. And um, I'm gonna show you on an old uh, D70S that I've got exactly what this setup looks like. But basically it's taking, Nikon has what they call the ES1. It's a slide copying device. Um, they actually add, uh, Highlight this as the care or the uh, the device to use with a 60 millimeter macro lens. Um, but after doing a lot of research online, somebody was saying on Nikon site that you can actually use their 40 millimeter uh, macro lens, which is actually a cheaper option. So that's what I did. Um, I actually so here's the setup. What I've got actually is the um, is the Nikon Nikkor. Uh, AFS DX Micro Nikkor uh, 40 millimeter f 2.8G uh, lens, uh, along with the EF1 um, slide copier. So what it has is actually the 52 millimeter um, adapter. It bolts directly on, and um, actually once you do that. Um, it's super slick. Um, in fact, I, I was so excited I got this in the mail today. Um, screwed the thing on, put in a, uh, an old slide that I was wanting to copy into the slide um, end. It's an old, uh, probably in the 1965 vintage uh, Kodak Kodachrome slide. Um, put it in there and literally just uh, turned on the camera and shot away. So what I do is it actually has a, uh, a telescoping kind of feature here. So with the lens you can actually do the autofocus and everything with the AFS lens. Um, and then I've got my, this is a Nikon uh, Speedlight, it's an SB600 that I've got with a remote um, just cable here. Um, and literally all I did was set it up, um, shot it about this far away with everything in auto mode and I was amazed at the results. So um, that's kind of what um, what I've done so far. I'm gonna play with settings and try to get ISO and white balance and all the, all the settings to try to get really the optimal image. But even with just a basic plug and play auto setting, um, I was able to get an amazing uh, photo from the slide. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, if you have any questions, I guess you can post it at the below in the, um, in the, the, um, the, um, um, uh, YouTube video, uh, comments. So, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Stop it.